hello and welcome back to my channel so today i've got another food shopping haul for you in fact i've got several so i've been to lidl and sainsbury's and i also went to lidl the other day to get some top up bits and i've also got some homegrown produce from my brother's allotment and bits and pieces like that to show you as well the reason that it's kind of split up into three different hauls is because as you probably know there is a bit of a fuel shortage in the UK which is a little bit of an understatement in fact it's not a fuel shortage it's a driver shortage um, so if you're not from the UK we are struggling to get fuel for our cars which means that we are trying not to use them unless necessary so as I live reasonably close to some of the major supermarkets I find it easier to just go and get a few bits that I can carry um, and then I can always walk to another one and get a few other bits if I need to rather than taking the car out for no reason. So I went to Lidl like I said to top up on a few bits and pieces because I was almost out and then I decided to walk to Lidl and get some more bits and then we went to Sainsbury's as well. So <laughs> I'm going to take you through everything I've bought. I will try and remember how much I spent at each shop and then at the end I'll let you know some form of meal plan for next week. Right so I'm going to start off with the bits that I have bought in Lidl today. So we've got some black seedless grapes. I decided to get some Granny Smith apples because we haven't had any for ages and I really like the sort of tangy green ones. Plus I need some for a recipe I'm making. I've got some jazz apples, a British iceberg lettuce and some baby plum tomatoes which look really really nice actually, really nice and ripe. Meat wise I got some outdoor bread British pork sausages. I got a top side of beef like a roasting joint and some breaded ham. Then we got some Dan Pack spreadable butter. I've just realised I don't know why I bought this because the last time I bought it I really didn't like it. And it sounds ridiculous but the reason why is because it doesn't stay on the knife. Like, comment down below if you agree with me. Clover or Anchor or any other kind of butter, you put it on the knife and it stays there till you put it onto your bread. This stuff, it's like it's, it's just slippery it just like an ice cube it slides off and but never mind so i bought some of this slippable butter i got some vintage red fox nutty and rich matured cheese um, it's a red leicester but it's a tangy one and it's a six a six in the strength uh, i'm making a macaroni cheese and i thought this looked really really good to go in it i got some free range eggs some ground black pepper Two lots of stock cubes, uh, some pan au chocolat, tropical granola. I got some light brown sugar for a recipe as well, although it's so annoying. I had to buy a kilo and I think I need like 100 grams. Um, dogs having a drink as usual. Thanks for that, Hobbs. I got some freezer bags, some caramel biscuit bars. I think these are 79p for five and they're like full size Twixes, so I think that's really good. So I've got two lots of those. Some of these cashew crush fruit and nut bars, um, you get four, no, you get five in here, I think, for one ninety nine. I got some of these granola bars, these are the maple syrup ones, and there's six packs of two. Some little Kinder Bueno style milk chocolate bars. I also got some crumpets, so I got six sourdough, because these are really, really nice with just butter on or cheese. And I also got just some plain ones, because if you watch my recent What I Eat in a Day video, I made an amazing baked crumpet recipe with the skinny food sauce and um, spread, like a white chocolate spread. It was absolutely amazing, and the boys have asked me to make it again, so I'll be doing that at the weekend. I got some Hovis Soft White, and then I got some Seabrook Crisps, just the prawn cocktail ones. Some of the classic, like, ridge cut ones. I think the Seabrook were a pound, and the ridge cut are about 85p. And I also got a pure deodorant, which was £1.45. So I believe in Lidl the first time round, I spent 40, 45 I think it was. So that was that one. What I will do now is insert the other Lidl clip from before today. And I will also insert just the few bits I wanted to show you from my brother's allotment. And then we will get onto the stuff from Sainsbury's. And then we will get on to my meal plan. So I hope you make yourselves comfortable because this could be a long one. So I just popped in Lidl for some essentials and I thought I'd add it onto this haul. So I actually went for milk and bread because you know when you go to make a coffee in the morning and the milk comes out in one solid lump. Well that's what happened this morning and it's not a good thing when I don't get my coffee. So I got some milk, some roast chicken sandwiches, 
some lighter cheese triangles, two tomato and basil sauces for meatballs. We're out of crisps as well, so I've got some of these lentil curls. A loaf of Hovis, best of both. I've got two lots of these little like square potatoes. They're just baked in sunflower oil. I'm going to be serving these with some Tex-Mex meatballs I'm making today. Two tomato and chilli couscous. I just really like this for lunches. Mix it with some like tuna or some veg or something. Some Cajun seasoning. Some sausage rolls as a change for lunches for the boys. A bag of salad. And I also got a large potted coriander because my one in my herb garden is dead. It's just the time of year that it kind of dies off. And then I also wanted to show you what my mum bought me yesterday um, in Marks and Spencers. It is a spiced sugar plum light up snow globe gin liqueur. And they do these every year in Marks and Spencers and they sell out really, really fast. So if you shake it, you've got like the little snowflakes and things there's a ballerina at the back but the best part is i can do it with one hand i put it against the wall you can probably see a bit better but when it's lit up i mean it's very very bright in here today but it is absolutely gorgeous you've got all the little flakes going round, and then you can see the little ballerina at the back and like a little snow scene and i just think it's absolutely amazing so i'm going to be having that at christmas and it's going to be used as a decoration as well afterwards. Hopefully the battery lasts, but I just think that's so pretty. So if you have got a Marks and Spencers and you did want to get hold of one of these bottles, I recommend going sooner rather than later. They've also got a little drummer boy one, I think it is, um, which is a vanilla rum. And then they had a clementine gin as well, but I'm not sure what was on the bottle because they've already sold out of that one. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. The camera isn't doing it justice. It's really hard to show you how pretty it actually looks, but I can imagine when it's all dark and cosy, that's just gonna look amazing. So I'm gonna turn that off. So that is everything I bought in Lidl, and I just had to show you the bottle. It just looks so nice sitting there. So yeah, that is everything I got in Lidl. Just a few top up bits, and then I will do my main shop. So I just wanted to add this little bit in. Um, this is all stuff that has been homegrown, not by me, but by my neighbours, my brother, and these little cob nuts are from Steve's mum. She recently planted a cob nut tree, is it tree? I guess so. Um, and she got five little cob, cob nuts off of it. They're a little bit like little hazelnuts. Um, Oscar's already eaten one of them. So they're from his mum. You can hear the kettle in the background, so I'm just about to make some soup. Um, We've got our tomatoes that our lovely neighbours grow for us every year and they bring them over or they pass them over the fence. Um, so we've got loads and loads of red and yellow tomatoes and they probably give us three or four bags a week. Pears, my brother gave me about ten pears the other day. He grows these in his allotment and uh, we've eaten obviously quite a few of them. They're just really, really nice. And he also gave me all of this. So he's growing red onions, brown onions and these are huge. Um, he's grown shallots and also garlic and oh I'm just going to show you the other bit as well he also gave me these two little mini pumpkins which oh no the post come through and the dog's going to eat it um, he gave me these two mini pumpkins as well but I've just put them in my lounge because it's like autumn and they're really cute for decoration but we're going to cook these as well so yeah I just thought I'd show you my little homegrown by other people <laughs> fruit and vegetables okay so in Sainsbury's I didn't get a great amount I just got some carrots and some potatoes for our roast dinner. I got some breaded chicken nuggets, some garlic baguettes. I got some of their rustic fries. These are £1.25 for, how big are you? 900 grams and they're really, really nice. They go nicely in the air fryer. I got some macaroni, which is one of the main reasons I needed to go to Sainsbury's because I'm making macaroni cheese. I got some hummus, which was reduced to 24p. Two lots of cheese strings, they were a pound for four. I got some of these super noodle pots, these were 60p. I got two curry and one chicken. Got some chocolate chip brioche rolls, which are 90p for eight. Some taste the difference bagels, so we've got some sesame ones and some plain ones. And it says they're steam baked, made with sourdough for an extra added flavour. And these were 79p. I thought they sounded quite nice and they're actually quite small rather than the massive fat ones you get. I got some Harrington's dog food for Hobbs, some semi-skimmed milk and then some squashes. 
So I've got two Vimto, which are the no added sugar. This one is blackberry, raspberry and blueberry. And this one is orange, strawberry and lime. I also got an orange and mango, no added sugar, double string squash. And then I've never seen these before. Um, these are the Seabrook Lamb and Mint Crinkle Cup Crisps. So I thought I'd try those. They're a pound for six. The last couple of bits in Sainsbury's, I got one of these for Breeze limited edition like air fresheners this is vanilla cookie and i just couldn't resist it really it was two pound and it's got christmas baubles and a christmas biscuit on so i got that one i also got yet another little fake plant i thought this might look nice in the van actually um because it kind of matches and it was only two pounds so i couldn't leave it there for that i just think that's so cute and i got myself a new water bottle which was also no it wasn't two it was three pound so it was three pound um, it's a glass bottle, it's leak proof, it's got like the rubber bottom and I really like the wooden style top and the little rope bit because I can't find the lid to my one that I've had for years so I thought £3 was a really good price for that so that's everything I got in Sainsbury's oh, tripped over the dog bowl that's everything I got in Sainsbury's and I spent just under £30 so I'll just run through my meal plan now because it's just easier so I've got some melt in the middle burgers planned for one night this week. We are also going to McDonald's because we're going to see the new James Bond film, which I'm very excited about. So we're going to have McDonald's that night because we very rarely do it and it just means I don't have to cook for a change. I'm going to do a roast beef on Sunday. I've got some broccoli in the freezer, some cauliflower in the freezer, and then we've got carrots, peas, potatoes. And I did make some epic Yorkshire puddings last week, if I do say so myself, because I'm pretty rubbish at Yorkshire puddings. But if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen my picture. Um, I'll leave my Instagram link down below, like always. But yeah, I was very proud of myself because I'm not good at batter and they came out really nicely. So roast beef on Sunday. Still haven't made the Viking pork. It just keeps getting pushed back. So I'm going to be making that with the crushed buttery new potatoes at some point. And then I'm going to do a macaroni cheese topped with crispy bacon. And it's a new recipe I'm trying. And it's a completely different way of doing it. So that will be in a video coming up soon. And I'm also going to do sticky deviled sausages. Which is another new recipe and is what I needed the brown sugar for. So that sounds really good too. All these meals will be on upcoming Meals of the Week videos. Or standalone cook with me's, slow cook videos, that kind of thing. So if you do enjoy those kind of videos, then make sure to hit subscribe. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. And I do these every single week, usually on a Thursday. And they're usually just one shop and a lot more coherent than this one. Leave me a like if you did enjoy it anyway. And I will be back really soon with another video. Take care, guys.